This is your Bitcoin daily update. For more information on Bitcoin, what to expect after the halving, because today is day one of the after the halving, I strongly recommend watching yesterday's live stream. I explain what to expect after the halving when it comes to Bitcoin and also the alts. Right now we're on the four hour time frame. We do have this zone to watch out for, 62.4 to 61. This is our nice little support zone. We're going to go into the hourly time frame in just a moment, just to zoom in. Uh, we do have this trend line here. Of course, it did break down. And right now, it seems to be finding nice support right in this area on a lower time frame. So let's go ahead and look at the lower time frame. Let's go to the one hour time frame. And uh, this is when this happened. Of course, I have to be careful with what I say on YouTube, just in case it gets flagged. Uh, but this event happened, and we had a nice little retrace. But Bitcoin does what Bitcoin does, and it faked everybody out. And of course, it just shot right up. Right now on the one hour, uh, of course, this right here is an area of resistance. Throughout the entire chart is nothing but support resistance areas. So this is uh, one of the areas of resistance at the moment. Let's go ahead and adjust this to around here. So this is about well, 65 is an area of resistance. Price action came up here, got rejected found support right at this area right at 63 we can call it 63.5 found support broke through but now it's gaining support once again now let's go ahead and draw a trend line and it's currently trying to break through this we treat this level by level so the next level it needs to break above is 65. once it gets there find support then we just look at the next levels if price action does come down more than likely to bounce hopefully at 62.4 if not go into the zone and then continue upward if it breaks the zone one thing i used to hate about just every ta person was it can either go up or it can go down or it can go sideways i used to hate that but it's so true you know what we have to do is we have to react to what's given to us nobody knows what's going to happen until after the fact so here we're waiting for it to break 65. Once it does and gain support, then it looks bullish. If it loses this next level and then this level, well, now we're looking for a possible bounce right off of, let's go ahead and go to a larger time frame. We're looking for a possible bounce right at 52. And then we have 43.7. Do I think it'll go this low? Not really, but this is an area of support. So if it does break this level, we're looking for hopefully a support bounce here. People are calling for Bitcoin to retrace to approximately 59 to 52. And this is the reason why, due to support. Now we do have this top. And then of course we have a lower high. So we have a high, a lower high. And currently we do have a nice area right in here. Now this support zone is weak. If you go to the daily time frame, you can see that we only have this for the support now the more times it touches this area the stronger it gets however we have to understand the momentum of the move so let's go ahead and just take off some of this stuff and let's go here let's do this and what i want to show you now is just the momentum every time it touches this area it's building strength on the support. It's, it's strengthening this weak support. Now, with that being said, if the price action goes up, comes down, goes up, comes down, goes up, comes down. Think of it as a bouncing ball. Goes up, goes down. If it does this number, now people will see this as a pattern of a descending triangle. And this is bearish. Because what's happening is it's losing its momentum. It's losing its strength. And eventually, you know, it's going to not have so much strength to where it's just going to break down. So this is what we're looking for. And, and once again, we just need more candles to tell us what is possibly going to happen. And if it does come down, it may not come down all the way to this level that we just referred to. It may find support somewhere else. It may create support throughout the entire chart. Nothing but support resistance create support resistance from new buyers and sellers or respect the old buyers and sellers the old support resistance 
and then we just treat it level for level. It needs to break this level. Now, once it breaks above 72, or I'm sorry, once it breaks above 73.5, now we're in a different ball game because what could happen is it bounces here and then once it crosses its previous or rather its newly created high, now it's gonna treat this hopefully as support and continue upward. This is what we're looking for. And this could happen in the next maybe several weeks to maybe two to three months. But just know the having already happened. You know, we are officially post having and a lot of great things happen post having. Bitcoin goes sideways. Now, as far as the alts go, just kind of give you a quick update. As far as the alts go, the alts, you will see some of them go 50, 80%. But the majority of them will move exponentially in 2025. So with that being said, now is the time to accumulate alts. We posted actually three charts yesterday. And that's, I'm sorry, three charts this morning. I started late last night. And so my max is three. That's all I post. And if there are other coins, I'll just let people know, okay, this one, it broke this level. More than likely, we'll check it for a few hours later and then post it for tomorrow's post. I try my absolute best to post between one and three charts a day. There are multiple times where I don't post any charts for three, four days. Not that I'm on vacation. It's just I'm waiting for the charts to come to us so that when we do post, more than likely, it's going to do really nice for us. Now, just to give you a heads up, I do have a lot of coins that are going off right now. It's, it's looking nice. So if you do want, of course, we do have a VIP. I strongly recommend you get in there. If not, that's quite all right. Join me every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so I can show you charts that I'm looking at, so I can show you how to trade. And I show you in the most realistic way. I don't show you how all these other YouTubers and influencers and mentors show you after the fact. I show you at the moment of the trade. I do thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video. As always, let's make this money. If you like the content that I provide, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and leave me a comment in the comment box. Now, see you on the next video, and as always, let's make this money.